I've been enjoying my latte coffees at work so much I thought I'd share how I'm doing it as a bit of a life hack. So what I did was I bought this little Porlex grinder so I can grind coffee. So I get coffee beans, you put them in the Porlex grinder. Put the lid on. When I'm about to start coffee, I turn the electric jug on and while it's waiting for that to boil, I grind my coffee. I usually finish grinding before the water boils. So the next step is to pour some hot water into my French press to preheat it. Give it a good shake around. Tip it out. Then I put the coffee grounds in. Which came from the here. And then because I like a latte, I don't want to put too much water in. So about that much. Give it a bit of a stir. You can tell the beans are nice and fresh because there's lots of froth on the top. Okay, now we wait for about six, seven, eight minutes for that to brew. Okay, it's been about six minutes. The next step is to pour some boiling water into my cup just to preheat it and to push the plunger down on my French press. So now I pour the coffee brew into the cup and just stop before I get any defines in there. Okay, so now we clean this out. Now we put some milk in here. So the volume of the milk is about up to the same line as what the coffee was. And I'll give it a bit of a swirl and zap this for a minute in the microwave. So this is how I make my coffee at work. I have the little grinder and it doesn't bother anyone to grind while I'm waiting for the water to boil, but sometimes I go into another room. Um, and yeah, I really look forward to my coffee that I have. So I've got a really nice espresso coffee machine here, but really this one tastes very similar for much cheaper. This is about um, $60 Australian for the Porlex Mini Grinder and my French press, I think it cost about $10, so it's all very cheap. Okay, after a minute, the milk's warm. So, now we use the French press to froth the milk. So, I usually do a couple of big presses to start it and then just small short strokes for maybe 50 or 60 strokes. Um, and this gets quite a nice, quite a nice uh, milk froth on the coffee. I've seen people do 
do latte art with this. So you can get quite good quality just in this simple way. So there we have it, a nice latte coffee. You can see the foams, you know, quite quite thick, quite good. Tastes beautiful.